I've been meaning to talk to you. I know you've had some success here on SmackDown, but I have some constructive criticism if you're mature enough to handle it. I'd like to think I am. What is it? I found some holes in your game. Several, in fact. And if you don't repair those holes, they'll get bigger and bigger and you'll never make it to the next level. Really? Yes, really. You can ignore what I'm saying and accept mediocrity, or you can take my advice, train hard, and better yourself. I don't know. What do you get out of all this? Other than the satisfaction of helping someone become the best version of themselves? Potentially a tag team partner. But only if you accept my help and address your weaknesses. I can make a slideshow if it'll help make this any clearer. I don't think that will be necessary. Okay, so what's your answer? Do you want my help or no? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not really convinced you can help me. So I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. Spoken like a true underachiever. Your loss. I'm sick of waiting around to get what we both know I deserve. When are you going to give me a shot at your Universal Championship? I'm not sure you deserve anything other than a good ass kicking. You know I've been better than you since the day you stepped foot in the Performance Center. So what's the matter? Scared the entire world will find that out? I already proved I'm better than you when we fought over the Intercontinental Championship. But if you want to get embarrassed again, then I'll take you on at some point. At some point? I want a title match now. You think you're the only one coming after my championship? You're going to have to wait your turn. Paragon J. Pierce didn't become an international sensation by waiting for anything. Anyone else want to step up to us? Huh? That's what I thought. I told you I wasn't going to wait for anything. 
So when you're able to pick yourself up off this mat, I expect to hear a next in line for a Universal Championship match. Or this will only get worse. I don't want to spend another second in this hellhole. Let's go. They're here! The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 517 pounds. Stanley Harrison and the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. After an illustrious football career through college, this athlete couldn't fit in with a team that best suited him. Love him or hate him, it's Paragon J. Pierce. What an absolute stunning turn of events that has led up to this match tonight. Yeah, Paragon J. Pierce and Shinsuke Nakamura invading the Performance Center, laying everyone out is one way to get the champion's attention. It worked, didn't it? And now the winner of this match will get to choose their Universal Championship match stipulation. Advantage, Paragon. Watch the hand speed. The suplex. He's absorbed some damage already. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. Sit in, sit out, power bomb. And Pierce is on the downside of things right now. And Pierce has to pull something out of his sleeve. Bulldog. And he sends him into the corner. Doomsday device. Oh, man. DDT. Earth shaking power slam. Going up top! To the sky! Diving by Naka Shabo! That was terrible, Byron. Up for the electric chair, down for the drop! He foiled that attempt. How insulting is that? God! Tags him in. Snap power slam. And a kick. Elbow drop right on point. Oh, impact to the stomach. HBK, way up top. High risk. HB Shizzle. Nakamura escapes the attack. Michaels with the awareness. 
Neck breaker excellently executed. Nakamura seems to have lost a step now. Into the corner. This can't be good. Aiden Cross body on the mark. HBK showing why he's the main eventer. And HBK is all fired up. Blitz of strikes. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. Shoulder block with a corkscrew. Down across the neck. There's a tag. Both superstars in. What do they have in store here? Oh, this isn't good. Oh, boot to the face. Kick. Oh, Shawn Michaels turned it off the man! Nakamura was ready for that one. Oh, right across the solar plexus. Getting him into the corner. Wicked clothesline! In off the tag. Got the tag. Got the tag. Back elbow smash. Nothing fancy. Bunch of hand speed. There's a fisherman suplex. Targeted attack. With the reversal. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Oh my! And Pierce is on the downside of things right now. And Pierce has to pull something. I got a feeling somebody's in. Full crash landing. And Pierce is out. Into the turnbuckle. And what we're seeing here, guys, is just a constant beatdown. Tag made. Double team ahead. Into the sidewalk slam. Boom. Ouch. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Death Valley bomb. Will this be enough? He wasted no time kicking out there. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Neck breaker! The wherewithal to counter HBK. He switches it back around. Nakamura hit off the tag. Side slam! down. Bad predicament right here. Strong elbows right on the mark. Big back body draw. Oh, you see the height on that? His defenses have fallen and soon he may too. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Shinsuke's strong style will still give him a chance in this match. Yeah, but not a very good chance. Good night. Lands an elbow. Fish 
German suplex. Turning the tables. And that failed to hit the mark. And HBK is in the driver's seat right now. Michaels is creating something. Oh, the driver spiked him. You guys hear that old familiar song? Here it comes. Sweet chin music. Boom. Michaels got it. Can he end it? it? Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here are your winners, Stanley Harrison and the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. Many are predicting it. It's the all-world Paragon Jape. Introduce. Tonight, the Universal Champion defends his title against Paragon J. Pierce in a steel cage match. These two have a lot of history together, and tonight, we add a new chapter. History's always written by the winners, right, Saxton? And tonight, that's going to be Paragon J. Pierce. Springboard attack. And here we go. He's headed up the cage. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. Trying desperately to escape. Ooh. Oh, God. Face oh. first. Ripped. 
from the top rope. And he's thrown from the cage down to the mat. Oh, that could not have felt good. Reversal, what a counter. Sequence of reversals there. Oh, forearm Man. smash. Brutal. He had it scouted. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. impact. Yahoo. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Sit out power bomb. And Pierce is down a demoralizing spot. Can Pierce recover from this adversity? And I oh that hurt. And he begins his ascent up the cage wall. your dreams. Good night. Oh my gosh, what impact. This is an incessant attack being brought to him. Yeah, the defects in his game are leaving him vulnerable. Making the big climb towards victory. He's all the way to the top of the cage. Not many options for him. No! Oh! Holy hell! That's it! That's it! Devastating crash landing off the cage! You take the risk, you live with the results! Off-handled slam! The challenger is not in a great place. This match has been so back and forth. I think it could still go either way. Oh, this isn't pretty. Yeah. Oh, bro. First, this superstar is hurt. And Pierce is on the downside of things right now. Can Pierce recover from this adversity? Leaving himself open here. Now, nah, guys, I can't think of a word. Uh-oh. Perched up top. Dangerous situation, guys. If this lands, it is all over. Oh, from the second rope, up on it, the shoulders. Avalanche, attitude adjustment. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dominance, power for him. Here he goes, moving up the cage wall. And every inch climbed puts you in a more perilous position. There he is at the top of the cage, still with a long way to go. Getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. He's making his way up the cage. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. He doesn't want to spend too much time up there. Oh, what a counter. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. He's working toward making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. Fought so hard to be in this position, but he's only halfway to victory. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. All he has to do is drop down to the floor, and his hand will be raised. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. He just has to swing that leg over. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. Heck of a view from up there, but he'll enjoy a view from the floor even more. And now the climb down could be more petrifying than the climb up. 
Oh, it's not safe being up there. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. Looks like he's having trouble getting that other leg over. The longer he's up there, the more fear starts to seep into the mind. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. The longer he's up there, the more fear starts to seep into the mind. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. All he has to do is drop down to the floor, and his hand will be raised. Ooh. Makes him pay with a counter. And he caught up. Saw this match slipping away, and he said, not yet. Oh! Able to reverse. The sprint up the cage is on. Pulls the leg. Oh, no. Crash landing. Unceremoniously set right back down to the canvas. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Running leg drop. And Pierce is on the downside of things right now. Can Pierce recover from this adversity? He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Watch the hand speed. Oh my, Dragon Screw targeting the ankle. He deflects it right back. Look at this, going counter for counter. EDT plants them. Up into the fireman's carry. And bang! Jack. And he's adamantly in control. He's looking relentless. Good God, that's devastating. Lisa set up. Oh no, we're gonna see it! Oh, penalty kick right to the arm. I got a feeling somebody's in for a crash landing. I think the champ's got it. And set right into the corner. Splash in the corner. Wow. The champ has this one in hand now. I got a feeling somebody's in. Oh, my goodness. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Watch the hand speed. And Pierce is on the downside of things right now. And Pierce has to pull something out of his sleeve. Oh my, down with authority. And now he's starting to make his way up the cage. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? And now he has finally been able to reach the top of the cage. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. Heck of a view from up there, but he'll enjoy a view from the floor even more. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. An always thrilling steel cage match, unpredictable to the very end, but there's the survivor. I don't know if you heard, but there's a superstar shakeup coming up. How do you think that's going to turn out for me? That's up to you. Since you're a main eventer here on SmackDown, you have the option to be protected from switching brands. Or you could choose to be eligible. Anything else I should know? 
There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. I have unfinished business here on SmackDown, so keep me out of the shakeup. Okay. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. I'd like to think I found I... some holes. Really? Yes, really. I don't know. Other than I a... don't think... Okay. So... I want to be the best I can Great. be. I'm going to run you agree through... Agree to disagree. No. Agree to agree. To fix this... All right. This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, from behind! They're gonna settle this right now. Backstage is where you can lay waste to your opponent in a hurry. They must have lost their minds. Everyone in the back needs to stay away from the oncoming devastation. Blitz of strikes! And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oklahoma slam! <laughs> Gotta find a way to get out of this. Ooh! Oh, man, check out this power. Just incredible power. Great awareness from Riddle. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Shoots a half. Bulldog! Oh my gosh! Wherewithal on the counter. Evades the attack. Whoa, nasty backhand right there. Oh, and a reversal. Big time shoulder block with a corkscrew. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Nice takedown, and now just battering knees. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Great job anticipating Riddle. And there's a neck breaker. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just care. Good God. Good God. Riddle is square in the sights here. He 
Lee turns it around. Paying it back with their own counter. Here we go. Yokosuka cutter. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, no, look out, guys. Broken in half. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Samoan blitz coming. This is pretty cool. Riddle with a reversal. Big time shoulder block with a corkscrew. Oh! And that will do it. I saw what you did against Riddle. Could have been worse. I took down one of the toughest guys on the roster, and that's all you can say? It was a step in the right direction. But you have more leaks in your boat to repair if you want to be the best version of yourself. Okay, so what leak are we fixing next? I see holes in your submission game. Prove me wrong in a submission match. And I'll be out there watching in person, so no shortcuts. Because... Shortcuts are bad? No, we've been over this. If you take shortcuts, you get cut short. Now come on, start paying attention and don't let me down. This is going to be good. Bit of an odd pairing here as this submission match gets underway. What do you mean odd? Drew Gulak has a proven track record of helping superstars be the best version of themselves, and I heard this is his latest project. Apparently, Coach Gulak has tasked his student with working on his submission game tonight. Let's see how it goes. Samoan Blitz coming. This is pretty cool. Watch the hand speed. Down with a suplex. A ferocious attack against Cesaro here. Cesaro's going to have to endure this punishment. Oh, my Look at goodness. This. From the ground up. Power slam. He's getting a little battered now. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. Slam. Top rope. Here we go. He's lining him up. Blast off. Dropping the bow. These consecutive attacks have him reeling. He's on his heel. Look out. A sky high low down. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Reversal from Cesaro. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Counter after counter. Powerless position to be in right now. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, the home a slam. He is just reeling from that offense. And as this match drags on, all that damage is only going to make it harder to fight out of a submission hold. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Oh, saw it coming. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He turns it around. From the top, diving shoulder tackle. Samoan Blitz coming. This is pretty cool. I think I know what's about to happen. Penalty kick to the arm. I got a feeling somebody's in for a crash landing. Can Cesaro come back from that? He's been placed in the corner now. Splash in the corner. Wow. And we are done 
here. Stomping out. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Strong counter by Cesaro. Counters. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. And it's Cesaro being dominated. Cesaro now just trying to survive. Here he comes, sliding back in. Cesaro knew what was coming. Brought down with a DDT. He saw that one coming. Elbow smash. Great job refocusing to reverse that. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Look at the torque. There's no escape from the camel. Forces his opponent to tap out. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Stanley Harrison. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. Nice win in the submission match last week. But when I was out there, I noticed you rely on reversals way too much. That's a hole in your game I didn't even know existed. You're turning out to be a bigger project than I thought. You're not giving up on me, are you? No, never. It's just going to take more work than anticipated. First, let's nip this reversal issue in the bud. In your next Yep, bet, and no shortcuts, because if you take shortcuts, you get cut short. There just might be hope for you after all. Better get ready. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. And taking him on is a luchador that throws caution to the wind. The high risk, high reward, golden link. Incoming, misses. Watch the hand speed. Power from the suplex. Oh, roll up here. And Lince Dorado easily getting the shoulder up. Likely just trying to sap out some energy with that cover. Blitz of strikes. Couple hard shots. The discus clothesline. Oof. Here we go. And Lindsay takes the brunt of the situation there. Yeah, but he... Oh, well, look out. You gotta love the lowdown. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Up handle slam. Lindsay Dorado needs to figure this out. Dorado has to trust his instincts at this point. There's a fisherman suplex. Endless rights and lefts being delivered. And a discus clothesline! I think I know what's next. Your favorite, Saxton. Yokosuka Cutter! All the way up. Still up. 
squatting too, my gosh! Wow! An opposing array of offense from him here. You can tell he is holding nothing back. Agonizing. a hand speed. Double underhook suplex. And an overbearing amount of offense against Dorado here. Dorado has to trust his instincts at this point. Snapping the neck. Placing them into the corner. Splash in the corner. Wow. Is there any life left in Lindsay? The cover! And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Stanley Harrison. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.